Absolutely. And welcome to this course proposal for Garen College in 2020. So the area that I'm looking to propose is something called Connected Learning. And so this is a year-long program with it looking to spiral up from level one through level two and level three in 2021 and 2022. The course content of this connected learning area focuses on four key areas noted by the Ministry of Education and 10, ten trends of the future. The first being well-being, the second cultural narratives, three are physical environment, and four self-directed learning to future-proof our students once they leave our educational settings and also for them to be lifelong learners. So here's the course structure for level one and they're broken up into uh, two topics. So the first area is developing independent learning skills and lifelong learning through conducting a social inquiry that the students select themselves. Second to this is investigating a social action that a particular organisation and a group is completing within society. So that's connecting with our local community. And then thirdly, looking at an aspect of their personal wellbeing that can be improved, noting this down, and learning strategies, whether it be in terms of their learning or in terms of their physical wellbeing. Our second topic focuses on engaging in wider societal issues. So the first is to look at a current issue uh, and produce a uh, media content for this. And then secondly, to deliver content through a meaningful and authentic audience. So this would be presenting a speech to community or parish members. A really obvious question you might be asking is, why are we adding in another curriculum area or expertise? And this particular area is something that I think that Aaron College uh, needs to shift to uh, if we're to keep up with change within the educational system. So one of the key skills that students will learn through this is adaptive expertise. So this looks at how students adapt to difficult situations and particularly where they're able to take ownership and control of their learning. And I've been hearing recently from staff that this is a real area that they're looking to develop uh, within our student body as learners. And I think that this uh, program could be a first step in that direction. Secondly, learners at the centre. So as you saw in the previous slide, the content is ultimately determined by the students themselves around the topic. And within this, the teacher's role is to create an environment, um, and it can be through a rubric, where they are able to see clearly what the success is and how they do that. Now, there's no one way to reach uh, success, and this is where students use the ability and skills they have in order to demonstrate their learning. Another aspect is that part of this is looking at the emotional intelligence of students, which is noted by the OECD as one of the key factors in terms of with the growth of artificial intelligence, uh, how we can connect with this. And it also relates to the computational thinking that we're looking to embed through the new digital technologies curriculum. And finally, it's about making connections not only to uh, the learners within Garen College, but also to outside agencies, uh, to parish and community members to make sure that the learning is really authentic and has a purpose rather than it just being about credits. So a question that we need to think about is how does this fit within our current curriculum? So there's a really cool quote um, from Einstein uh, looking at why we need to change. And I think that the changing curriculum needs to realise the economic changes in terms of the uh, confronting gig economy that we have coming up, uh, the structural change in terms of that learning just doesn't happen between 8.30 and 3.30 p.m. It's uh, asynchronous and can happen anywhere, anytime. Finally, social mapping. Uh, where do students fit within wider society? What is their purpose? How will they find fulfilment in their lives? And then also looking at uh, culturally, uh, how do they sit within a bicultural, moving on to a multicultural society. Staffing for this is there is a um, staff member who is interested in teaching this and has experience across the curriculum areas that I have presented to you within the learning format. 
think it's also really important that the nature of learning uh, supports some of the ideas uh, presented. Uh, the future of learning talks about how we can support our students best, and then also a leading Tom van der Ark talks about how um, AI and humanity can actually work together. However, the way in terms of how we learn needs to deeply change, and he's analysed some key skills that he thinks is important. So thank you for watching my presentation and look forward to thoughts and feedback around this.